Now that you've seen how to set up Vue.js and JS Fiddle, I just want to briefly show you how you can set up a simple development environment on your own machine. To keep things simple, I'm not going to get into Webpack or the Vue CLI now, as I will cover this in later videos. So to easily get up and running, there are two simple approaches right now. The first being to use the CDN, as we did in the previous video. The first thing I'll do is to create an HTML file that will contain pretty much the same code as you saw in the previous video. So let me just go ahead and create that. I'll just call it index.html. I don't need a title for now. And I'll just create the markup here as we saw previously. I'll just create a header and output message. The next thing we need to do is to add a script tag for Vue.js. So I'll just go ahead and grab the CDN URL from Vue.js.org. So I can find it here. I scroll down and I just need to open this link and copy this URL. And now I can add a script tag with an SRC attribute and paste it in there. So now it's time to add our JavaScript code. I'll just add this inline at the bottom of the page, but it could also be loaded from an external file. So I'll add another script tag here, with type of text slash JavaScript. And in here, I'll just add a new view instance with an object as an argument. I'll say the element is app with the selector. I'll say data is an object and message will be hello world, like so. If I open the HTML page in a browser, we should see hello world being rendered on the page. And sure enough, everything looks to be working correctly. Alternatively, you can download the Vue.js file instead of using the CDN. So let's quickly go ahead and do that. I'll just save the JavaScript file from Vue.js.org and save it in my project's root directory. So now you can see on the left hand side that I now have the file. Now all that's left to do is to replace the URL in the script tag with a path on the file system that is relative to the project directory. So in here, I can actually just write view.js. So if I open up the browser again and refresh the page, we should see the same result as before, and indeed we do. So if you prefer to follow along with this setup rather than using JS Fiddle, then this is how you can do it. Later in the course, I will get back to setting up a more advanced development environment, but for now, these options are sufficient.